Hey YouTube, Kira Qualia here, bringing you all my Cardfight Vanguard Graham Grace deck profile for October 2023. Big thanks to my buddy Anthony for letting me borrow his Graham Grace deck for the video. We got the new stand-up deck set for the Graham Grace series. A lot of cards were just reprinted for the Graham Grace deck, but we did get new cards, including a new ride line and one other additional new card for the main deck in this set. And we also received some cards from Set 11 that definitely helped with the Graham Grace deck as well. So with all this new support, an update was definitely due just for people also looking to build this deck as one of the newer decks to potentially get into the game. Focus in on being able to attack from your back row center rear guard with an additional unit on the field. So having a good lineup of grade twos is definitely necessary for this setup. So let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile. So we'll go ahead and start off with the ride deck for our starter. We're running Starting Magic, Star Lily. When wrote upon, if you went second, draw a card. Our grade one is Incision Angel. When wrote upon, draw a card and choose a card from your hand and discard it. So just a pretty basic ride line, but still great setup. Along with Divine Sister, Gato Bosk. When this unit will be, when you would ride from the ride deck, you can Soul Blast one instead of choosing a card from your hand, discarding it, saving cards in your hand and just having to use Soul for that buildup. With our grade three being Sword Saint Knight Dragon Graham Grace, along with the copy we are running in the ride deck. We are running three additional copies in the main deck. Also, with this card on your Vanguard Circle, your Persona Ride also increases the power of your back row units. And on the Vanguard Circle, once per turn, Counter Blast One, Soul Blast One, draw a card, choose a card from your hand, call it to your back row center rear guard, and until end of turn, that you can attack from the back row, and it gets plus 10,000 power. And at the end of the battle, your back row center rear guard attack, put that unit into the soul, and draw a card, making up for some of the soul that you would have used for other cards in the deck, but also just being able to have that unit attack from the back row thanks to Graham Grace also helps with the power boost that you'll get with the Persona Ride, having a unit that can at least hit for additional power and then have a strong enough attack to swing your opponent even if they do end up getting a trigger. For the other grade three, we run the deck also four copies of Knight of Soaring Blade uh, Fernball. With this card, back row center rear guard at the end of the battle this unit attacked. If your opponent's vanguard is grade three or greater, Soul Blast one, discard a card from your hand. Choose one of your vanguards with Graham Grace and its card name, and it gets plus 10,000 and drive plus one until end of turn. So just giving an additional drive check to Graham Grace makes it all the better as well. And also making up for the Soul Blast power by being able to place the unit that attacked thanks to Graham Grace from the back row center rear guard into the soul to use for some of your other cards and then also with this card having the option for that back row rear guard to attack first then provides additional power for your Graham grace when it attacks and then as for the new card from Clash of the Heroes, four copies of Knight of Soaring Spear, Gwyn Law. When this unit is placed on rear guard, if you have a Vanguard with Graham Grace and its card name, Soul Charge 1, and this unit gets plus 5 to end of turn. More of the Soul setup for, like I said, a good variety of cards that we want to run in the deck. Four copies of this card at least also gives us another unit for the plus 5 power, and if it is placed on the back row center rear guard, we just have that option of just when it's placed on rear, if you have a Vanguard with Graham Grace, it gets the plus 5 along with the plus 10 that you're Persona Ride would have given to the back row also thanks to Graham Grace. And also four copies of the new unit, Knight of Soaring Refinement, Defin. When on rear guard, when your grade three or greater unit in the center column attacks, if you have a Vanguard with Graham Grace and its card name, that attacking unit gets plus 5,000 till end of battle. So just when your grade three or greater unit in the center column attacks, that means that also your back row center one, since your grade three or greater unit in the center column, you can count the back row one as being a unit that it can also attack to gain that additional plus five power. So an additional boost. And when this unit is on the front row rear guard, when this unit attacks, if you have a Vanguard with Graham Grace and its card name and your units in the center column attack two or more times this turn counter plus one in this unit gets plus 15,000 to end of battle so with your persona ride being plus 10 you can have the additional plus 15 thanks to defend and then have this card attack for 35k on its own not including a booster as long as you attacked with your back row center rear guard and your vanguard as well before this card attacked and then also four copies of Drilling Angel. Just more setup for cards in the soul while being able to search out that particular card from the top of your deck using this card. Very useful for that setup. And once again, just more soul build up to utilize all the different Graham Grace cards that require a soul blast. For the last of the grade twos, just three copies of Divine Sister Longwo Deshot. 
On rear guard, if your soul has a grade three or greater card, this unit gets boost and plus 5,000 power. So another card that can provide an added backup to some of your rear guards, even if you have this card called out and you have your Knight of Soaring Refinement fin on the front row, you can provide the boost to your 35K attacking unit with it also having the plus 10K power for the 45,000, but also for the fact that your Persona Ride gives you plus 10 to the back row, meaning you'll be attacking for that one singular column for 55,000 power total. And then moving on to the grade ones, four copies of Knight of Gale, Sign Blue Guard. When this card on rear guard during your turn, if your opponent's vanguard's grade three or greater, this unit gets plus 5,000 power. So the main bonus with this power means that if you have to call this grade one to the back row center rear guard, it'll at least be attacking for 13K power on its own, or 23K if you persona road, since your Grand Grace's persona ride power will also give plus 10,000 to the back row. So you have a 23, thousand attack point unit that will also be a great booster to whatever rear guard you have but also that multiple attack on the back row center rear guard to hit for at least a bigger number depending on the other skills you may use in the deck as well for the plus five that it can provide with some of the other units to then give to those cards and then also the four copies of palladium zeal dragon just the sentinel of choice if you wanted to run elementaria sanctitude in the deck also you could just drop one copy of palladium zeal dragon for the last spot for that blitz order for the trigger lineup we are running the seven critical so four copies of blade feather dragon and three copies of daring knight so added pressure for the fact that our main focus will be the pressure that you can get with the multiple attacks off of all of your units on the field not really needing front triggers in the deck since our main power will come from the back row attacks or the back row boost so the other trigger that we run in the deck is the four draws so four protection magic pro roby for the additional 5k shield that this card gets when guarding against a attack if your opponent has a grade three vanguard and then also the four copies of healer of heavenly staff arshis and lastly the one copy of light of dragon deity honors a martinoa just with this card having the additional perform drive check for any of your rear guards that haven't attacked yet making it all the scarier for some of uh, of your pressure for you then have the option of drawing a card choosing a card from the back row rear guard and then it also attacks from the back row as well if you don't go for the drive check that your grade three provides to give to your vanguard you can always attack with the grand grace first and then have the unit on the back row also attack giving you that additional drive check along with your two units in the front but that is it for the deck profile. I hope you all enjoy. Once again, big thanks to my buddy Anthony for letting me borrow his Graham Grace deck for the video. And as always, until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And Kira Qualia out.